Hello, my name is Jennifer Feltis, and I'm an epidemiologist at the Fairfax County Health Department. Today is National Fentanyl Awareness Day, so we're sharing the facts on fentanyl and what you can do to help prevent fentanyl overdoses in our community. Now, you may have heard a lot in the news about opioids over the past few years. Opioids are a potentially addictive class of drugs used to reduce pain. And fentanyl is a particularly strong opioid. In fact, it's up to 50 times stronger than heroin and up to 100 times stronger than morphine. Even in very small doses, just the size of a few grains of salt, it can be deadly. Fentanyl is manufactured in illicit labs, and increasingly, it's being used to make fake prescription pills. So these pills have been found in all 50 states, and they've been found here at home in Fairfax as well. And these pills may look exactly like Percocet or OxyContin, but they actually contain an unregulated and potentially deadly amount of fentanyl. So as a good rule of thumb, assume any prescription pill that you see online is fake. It's best to only take pills that you receive directly from your pharmacist. Another place that we're seeing fentanyl show up in the community is as a substitute or a cutting agent in street drugs like cocaine or heroin. And because you can't smell or taste fentanyl, people who overdose on fentanyl often do so unknowingly. That's why we're out here and trying to spread awareness. So nationwide, there has been a sustained increase in opioid overdose deaths in the past two decades. If we look more closely at this increase, three waves emerge. First, there was a rise in prescription opioid overdose deaths beginning in the early 2000s. Then, starting in about 2010, heroin overdose deaths began to rise. And then the third wave began in 2013, and we're still in it. That's the fentanyl wave. Because fentanyl is such a potent opioid, deaths have increased at a much more rapid rate in the past decade. There's also been a recent rapid increase in adolescent opioid overdose deaths involving fentanyl from 2019 to present. Nationally, we see that these fake prescription pills have been one of the drivers of this increase. So we're unfortunately seeing a lot of the same trends here at home in Fairfax Health District. We've seen an increase in emergency department visits for non-fatal opioid overdose in recent years, and an increasing proportion of those involve fentanyl. In 2022, there were 304 emergency department visits for non-fatal opioid overdose, which was about a 50% increase from 2019. We observed as well an increase in opioid overdose deaths in Fairfax Health District from 2019 through 2021. Now, preliminary data for 2022 shows a decrease in deaths from the year prior, and we certainly, certainly hope that this trend continues. So in 2022, there were 82 opioid overdose deaths in Fairfax Health District. 80 of these 82 involved fentanyl, which is about 98%. So you can also see here that the proportion of opioid overdose deaths involving fentanyl, which is the part of the bars here in blue, has gone up every year since 2010. Now, among our youth ages 17 and younger, we've also seen an increase in emergency department visits for non-fatal opioid overdose from zero to 2019 to 27 in 2022. And from 2020 to 2022, we did see seven fatal opioid overdoses among our youth, all involving fentanyl. So here in Fairfax, we're also seeing that one of the drivers is our youth unknowingly consuming fentanyl by taking these fake prescription pills. So what can we do to prevent opioid overdoses and promote healthy behaviors? So one of the first things that you can do is to continue to stay informed on opioid overdose trends in Fairfax Health District. So linked below is a dashboard that the health department regularly updates to help keep you informed on those trends. So we also want you to know that Fairfax County has resources for those who might need help with substance use. And you can visit the following website to learn more about the support resources available. Another thing to do is to make sure that you have the life-saving medication called Narcan on hand. So Narcan, also known as naloxone, is a nasal spray that reverses fentanyl and other opioid overdoses and saves lives. 
The Fairfax County Community Services Board offers the Revive program, which is a free training that teaches you everything you need to know about administering Narcan to someone who's overdosed. Everyone who takes the training receives a free Revive kit, which includes Narcan as well. So you can visit this link to learn more about the Revive program and to sign up to receive your free Revive training. So lastly, how do we help our youth in particular to make healthy choices? So results from the Fairfax County Youth Survey teach us that when children and youth have three or more positive protective assets in their lives, they're more likely to manage stress, to make better choices, and to develop healthy habits. And so we actually call this the three to succeed. The six assets are, can youth ask parents for help with personal problems? Uh, do they do extracurricular activities once a month or more? Do they perform community service once a month or more? Do they have a teacher that recognizes their good work? Do uh, they feel that it's important to accept responsibility for their actions? And can they talk to adults in the community about something that's important, including substance use? So note that many of these assets have to do with supporting youth through connection. And so we recommend talking to your children about fentanyl and other substances and just starting that conversation and letting them know that you're there to support them in making healthy decisions. To learn more about the three to succeed, you can visit this website. So now I want to thank everyone very much for the opportunity to share some information on fentanyl for National Fentanyl Awareness Day. Um, and I hope that everyone takes care. Thanks.